African drums are talking. Land of exotic mood and fevered wanderings where the echoing footsteps of adventurous dead still ring upon the ears of those who follow. Where parasites in buzzing hordes await neath overhanging vines that trellis a fantasy of twilight on the path. Land of paradox and lies. Of greenery whose velvet softness harbors poison beads of perfumed agony. A land of pastel shades and painted death. Where death is marked by life and life by death. This is Africa. In the whispering forest of death, Ifabi, a beautiful native girl, leads the professor's party in search of a legendary treasure. Professor Edwards has never really trusted this native girl, for she has large yellow eyes and is a mistress of the art of hypnotism. Ifabi plots with Adako, son of the chief of her village, to allow the white men to transport the treasure away from the devil-infested forest and then kill the whites and take the treasure themselves. In a clearing, the party find the headstones which mark the end of their search and to support the professor's theory that the treasure originally belonged to a party of Roman invaders, Jack finds a Roman short sword. Just then, a throwing spear strikes into the ground, barely missing in Guru. Don't shoot, Jack. Wait. Wana, him Madarko, him chief son. He's crazy, sir. He's foaming at the mouth. Look. The devils of the forest have entered his brain. What's it all mean, father? What's he want? He must have followed us for some reason. Madarko, son of the chief. Come in peace and let us palaver. White men, the devils have decreed you die. Wana, Nguru, go catch him. No, you stay here, Nguru. Wana, Nguru, go catch him. Come back, come back, Nguru. He's not armed, sir. Leave him alone, Jack. Keep your rifle ready just in case. Your warrior will be killed, white man. He has no spear. And the devils have entered into a darko's brain. They're circling like wrestlers. What's some girl going to do? Wait and see. I've watched him disarm more than one man. This is a madman. He's within striking distance. Oh! Uh, Look out! Hold him and go. Hold him. One a little dog bark. No teeth, no bite. Where's that rope, Jack? We'll tie him up. What, man? If Abby has a better way, let her look into the eyes of a Daco and he will forget his madness. What's that? Yeah. Oh, I think I'd rather trust to a strong rope, if Abby. No, what, man? You shall have need of him. And of what use is a man that is bound with a rope? Mm-hmm. Well, you can try it. Can you lift his face off the ground and guru and still hold him? Aye, Buana. Adako, look into the eyes of Ifabi. Look long, Adako, for in them lies peace. Peace for thy tortured mind. Look long. Look long. Why, again, sir, she's done it. That awful look's gone out of his eyes. Oh, yes. Let him stand. If Abby has taken his will, now there is no harm in him. Stand him up, Nguru. Aye, Buana. Nguru, watch him plenty. Huh? If Abby, I want to talk to this man. I want to know how he came to follow us. The answer to that white man lies only in the mind over which if Abby has drawn a cover. There may be danger in the lifting of the curtain. Mm. Well, maybe so. Well, I'll leave you here with him. You seem to be able to keep him quiet. I'm glad we weren't forced to kill him out of self-protection. Come on, Jack. You, Lorna. Let's go on with the digging. Okay, sir. Adako, look into the eyes of Ifabi. You will do as Ifabi commands, for she has taken your will, and your mind is hers to do it as she pleases. Is it not so, Adako? It is so, Ifabi. See, they have found the gold. You shall carry the treasure for the white man to the river. The black warrior will go with you. At the edge of the river, you will find the place. The treasure is safely in the canoe. Then you will bind your arms about the black warrior and leap into the water. Mamba, the crocodile, will see that your ancestors receive you quickly. You are here, Adako? Daco hears Ifabi. And he will obey. Yes. It is well. Speak no word, but act quickly when the time is right. Ifabi commands. 
the white men approach. Uh, Bobby, you were right. The iron box is full of priceless antiques. And the French government will reward you handsomely when they're turned in. Yes, white men. But it is well for us to leave the forest as swiftly as possible, since you have found that which we came to see. Hmm. Think we can manage the iron chest between us, Jack? Yes, I think so, sir. Adako will carry the box. He is strong, and the Fabi will command it. Guru, you look after Adako. He'll carry the box. Mm -hmm. I'm forgetting out of here as quickly as I can. Hey, Fabi, tell Adako to pick up his load. Ondolo, Tweeka, Adako. Uh, uh. Well, have we everything, Jack? Yes, sir. All right, Guru. Lead the way with the doctor. Oh, oh. We travel that way now, white man. That way? Why, we didn't come in from that direction. It is quicker for travel. The river is there that will take us to the village of the white men who rule. Oh. If Bobby knows of a canoe that lies hidden in the bushes there. Well, that sounds better than trekking on foot, sir. It certainly does, Jack. Well, in that case, Bobby, you'd better go along in front with Nguru and point out the path. It is well, white man. Nguru, no, doctor, come. Are we really heading for civilization at last, Father? Well, I think so, Lorna. I'd like to get this gold plate off my hands as soon as possible. Did you notice that Bobby's eyes when you mentioned taking the treasure to the government, Father? Yes. I think she was hoping I didn't know this place was in French territory. Well, I hope she won't give us any trouble before we get rid of it. Those eyes of hers seem to pierce your brain. <laughs> Bobby has told Adako where the canoe lies. Oh, the river runs through the forest, eh? Yes, I remember. I think I have my bearings now. What river is it, Father? Small tributary of the Bacari. It's a sluggish stream full of mud banks and crocodiles. The white man knows his way? Yes, sir, Bobby, I think so. It is well, for he has a long journey before him. He should rest. Yes, you're quite right. We all need a rest. Let's not sleep too close to the river, though. Too many mosquitoes. Check. Spread out the blankets while Lauren and I have a look at the river. I want to see Nguru about guarding that chest. Okay, sir. We'll be back in a few minutes now. The young Bwana is tired. Yes, sir, Bobby. I could do with a week's sleep. I'll get it, too, when we... When we reach the post, I... I... Why do you... Why do you look at me like that? I... Keep looking, little Bwana. Keep looking... Into Fabi's eyes. No. No, I... I can't. You cannot close your eyes. You cannot take them away from Fabi. No. No. It is well. Fabi will command and you will obey. Yes. The time has come when Fabi takes what she desires. Nadako has been of use to her. But it is you, if Fabi shall take to her own country. You, little Buana, who shall have the love of Fabi. You must listen and obey. Oh, say nothing. The white woman comes. Jack, we can't find Nguru anywhere. Father sent me back to get Fabi. White woman, look at the Fabi. What? Why do you look at... Oh... Jack. Look well, for the black warrior whom you seek is in Ifabi's eyes. Do you see him? Yes. Now he walks into the forest. Do you see him? Yes. Then you shall follow him. Ifabi commands. Go now. It will not be long, little Buana. It will not be long. If Abby's plans are nearing fulfillment... Jack! Lorna! It is the big white man. You must answer him. Here, sir. Yeah. Where's Lorna, Jack? I sent her back here to bring you Abby. The white woman has gone. Gone? Where? What do you mean? Jack! Look at me, boy. What? Oh. Oh, so that's it. If Abby... Release this man's mind, or by Your heaven, I... Your gun is of no use to you, white man. What have you done with my 
daughter. The gun you have in your hand, white man, is for yourself. No. No. I... I'll shoot... You'll shoot yourself, white man. Yes. Yes. I will shoot myself. Buona. Oh. Buona. Oh, ni worthy. Ah, oh, ni worthy, Buona. Buona. Oh. What in heaven's name? Who? Who fired that shot? Buona. Nguru shoot, moon witch. Nguru see Buona. Little gun turn so so to face. Yes. Yes, I remember. Good Lord, I. Well, I was about to. Great Scott. Thanks, Nguru. Wana, Missy, she here. Nguru, Missy, gun. Uh, look after Jack and Nguru. If Abby. If Abby. If what, man? If Abby is dying. She, she desired too much. That is all. The canoe. Yes, it, I found it. It is well. If Abby dies now, it was written in the moon. Well, I guess she'll never work any more magic. Jack! Jack! Can't you hear me? Slap his face, Lorna. He'll come out of it. Here, let me try it. Come on. Jack! Jack, snap out of it, boy. Yes? Yes, I... What's the matter? Well, that's all right now. Now, just sit there for a minute, Jack. Father, that's just what happened to me. I seem to wake up with Nguro slapping my face. What's it all about? Never mind that now. We've all had a very narrow escape. Nguro, where's the doggo? Him fall in water. Mamba chopping plenty. Ah. Oh. Crocodiles got him, eh? Aye, Buana. Him try make him guru go too. Guru no go. Him come find Missy walk for sleep in forest. Guru bring him back. Well, I guess that's another time we'll have to thank you, old fellow. Asante, Sala, and Guru. 